Hello and welcome to another edition of Bed Cremfy Pasta. Today's story is the lost episode of Wheel of Fortune, which was requested by KPP KPP 619. So thank you, Mr. Peanut Man. Does anyone remember that world famous game show, Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> if it's world famous, I imagine some people do remember it, yes. No. Does anyone remember the sky? <laughs> Uh, I mean Wheel of... Okay, does anyone remember that world-famous game show, The Wheel of Fortune? Uh, I mean Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, English isn't my first language. What? Apparently a superfluous use of the word the is a cardinal sin. Anyway, it's it, just the question mark. It turns out that Wheel isn't very fortunate at all. In fact, <laughs> it brought me worlds and worlds of misfortune. All in a day. Wait. Ooh, this is a twist. The Wheel of Fortune brought misfortune. Holy Clever. shit. It ruined my life. I had it all. Dot, dot, dot. Until that moment. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, I was a janitor at a local elementary school for the behaviour really? elite. Yeah, I was about to say, he had it all! Bags of it! Yeah, mop. <laughs> all bucket. of it. What more could a person want? Behaviour challenge what? kids biting him. A lot of kids who went there were the type who'd shove their gym teacher if they lost at ping pong, or would trade Digimon cards and tell their friends they were just strange new Japanese-only Pokemon. What? That sort of thing. Yeah, that, that sort of hardcore thing, yeah. That sort of thing, full stop, space, dot, dot, dot. Uh, uh, what's he trying to get across about these kids? Like, oh, they were immature and a bit dickish, like children. <laughs> well, yeah. So, yeah, I loved everything that there was about my job. I, I really the vomit on the floor. <laughs> I just don't up. like nice people. Yeah. Anyway, after cleaning up some kitty vomit. Oh, I had it all! Called it. Had it all! Fucking called it. During recess period, I noticed a VHS tape underneath the lunch table. <laughs> was it a curse? Of course it was. Fuck, <laughs> so yeah. Was it addressed to John? At first, I thought it was just a black box with some decaying earthworms inside of it from science class. What sort of what science experiment was that? But no, it was a VHS tape, all right. I didn't even... I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> I can never watch a family movie. Just, <gasps> const just constantly stuffing fish bait into my VCR. <laughs> That's what I cursed. I didn't even bother to wonder how a VHS tape got there, or why a kid in the year 2013 would be carrying a VHS tape around. But yeah. Born, Born clearly. <laughs> Scary, yeah, isn't it? <sighs> the lost episode of Wheel of Fortune... It read in bold and italicised sign. It's 16 Comic Sans. Oh! Oh! It's cursed! Throw it to the fire! Comic Sans! Ah! Is he running around the room? <laughs> he is. What, you, the, what the viewers don't realise is that Toby is actually naked and on fire. <laughs> Both regularly and upside down. In English, Russian, and a hieroglyphic looking language. It was Wingdings. <laughs> Of eyes and pyramids and stuff. <laughs> That's very descriptive. Ugh. Eyes and pyramids and stuff. Do they, do they keep bleaching that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't contain my joy. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly he had it all. That's <laughs> the point where he would jump for joy for finding a VHS. Slipping on the vomit as he jumps, as he lands on the ground. <laughs> In fact, I figured it was a gift for me. Woo! Given that the eyes and pyramids was reflective of my native language that I couldn't read. I guess they figured I'd notice it because of the vomit lying next to it. What? You are a... What the fuck is this guy? Is he, is, is he mental himself? I threw down my mop. So far, so far. It's like, I felt some vomit on the floor. What's that thing? It might be a pile of dirt and worms. Oh no, it's a VHS. Must be a gift. That's what's happened so far. Oh, I can't. I just can't. You do it. Alright. I threw down my mop and wait, wait, left... Wait, this is the quickest he's ever given up. Yeah. I threw down my mop and left the bucket alone with the watery vomit mixed and inside. <laughs> Not thrown away, dot, dot, dot. And I ran home to enjoy one of my favourite TV shows of all time. <laughs> he ditched work. What? At a school. <laughs> so he could go home and watch Wheel of Fortune. No, clearly he had it all. Oh man, Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna put the toaster on, get the microwave, do some spaghetti hoops. <laughs> it's 
gonna be fucking amazing. It for a fucking night. It was about a three and a half to four mile run back to my boarded up apartment, God. but I could use the exercise. Cafeteria food is mostly pizza and fries these days. I put 30 to 40 what? pounds on me in the past school what? year. What for? Nothing but pizza and fries for children. That seems, I don't know, illegal. <laughs> yeah, in the year 2013, but nobody uses VHS tapes. You always just skirt for fucking just, shit. We don't use VHS tapes. We do poison our children, though. Yeah. yeah. Would you like some grease with your grease? So I'm pretty overweight. Man, doesn't anybody care about kids these days? Dot, dot, dot. Well, anyway. Clearly not you as you ditched out of work. Anyway, this meant I abandoned my job and would be regarded as quitting. But I felt dot 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 possessed. Almost dot. I had to know what was on that tape immediately dot. I Maybe feel like it was this... an episode of Spongebob that was never shown. <laughs> I felt like it was probably left there by a principal or some other higher up. Right next to a pile of vomit. So it would be okay if I ran <laughs> home and watched it. Right? I wish, I wish my headmaster had like... That sort of sense of humour. Someone's throat is vomit on the floor, I'll just leave a little gif right next to it. Oh dear. Once I got home, I dusted off my VCR. An old Richard Simmons workout tape was in the slot. But Richard Simmons looked like but looked a little strange on it. He looked dot 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 dishevelled. Regardless, I threw Richard Simmons on the wastebasket and popped in the lost episode of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> His throat just ah he's like trying to wriggle out. Let's <laughs> wet those glutes. <laughs> I grabbed some pepperoni pizza, hot pockets, ice water, and a hot fudge sundae on the fridge. <laughs> you fat fuck! Oh, I ain't even the exercise, but I'm gonna go home and eat fucking... ready at all times. I'm gonna go home and gorge myself. Then I lifted my finger and pressed play on the VCR remote. Oh, that's my, oh, that's my exercise done for the day. Little, little did I know that this would be the last time I would ever watch a VHS tape. Oh, you poor man. <laughs> well, it is 2013 rate. in this story, so yeah, I can see I, why I would this imagine. would be the last time you'd ever watch a VHS tape. The Wheel of Fortune theme song played as usual. Absolutely nothing was off. Other than Paul, was that Sajak? Is that it? I don't know, I have no idea. Pat Sajak, enjoying a steamy hot bowl of Campbell's soup. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought dot, the TV personalities get hungry sometimes too. This is probably an advertisement for the show. It's not like he was advertising cigarettes or capital D depends or something. So, okay, whatever. Want some crackers, Charles? Pastor Jack smiled and winked to the camera. I didn't know how Pastor Jack knew my real name, but I didn't care. Wait, his name's Charles. When was that established? Right now. <laughs> right, right now. I spilled the piping hot pepperoni pizza hot pocket on my manhood. <laughs> <laughs> and there was some slight burning through my torn up gr gunge era style, oh, gunge era style blue jeans, whatever the fuck that means. But I picked up the hot pocket and ate it anyway. Mmm, <laughs> crotch pizza. <laughs> I was pretty hungry. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> I, I, realism. Uh, I make sure I get my dick pepperoni. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the story. I burn my junk. <laughs> it's how he empathise with him more. Like get, get deeper to the personality. He's got depth to it. It's character development. I'm oh gonna... yeah, I really do strongly sympathise with the kind of guy who ditches work to eat Hot Pockets and watch Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> but he needs it's all part the... of the hero's journey. Yeah, he needs the exercise. And yet he doesn't. The first contestant, Rebecca, spun the wheel. She was wearing a skirt or something. <laughs> I am like face me? palming so hard right now. <laughs> How'd you like misidentify a skirt? It was a skirt or I don't know, an elephant. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I get that mixed up all the time. It was a small village or something, I wasn't sure. And had innocent, sad looking eyes like one of those anime chicks. Oh my god. It landed on six 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 dollars. I don't remember that being a monetary value in the show. <laughs> <laughs> You've Maybe lost it's it. Just a glitch. He's lost it. Uh, yeah, it was just a glitch in the show. And you'd think that would piss off some adults in re and really superstitious people. But you know, whatever. Maybe this was a Halloween episode. But I figured Patcher Jack eating a bowl of soup would be pretty shitty costume. Would be a pretty <laughs> shitty costume. 
<laughs> so I didn't know what I'm to think, really. Next year, I'm dressing like that. So walk around in a bar of soup. Guess who I am? <laughs> You're from Bowling for Soup? No? Okay. There was a fat bloke in Bowling There was soup. a fat bloke for Bowling for Soup. Might be him. Comes full circle. Yeah, it's not that long. The next thing I heard really scared the shit out of me. I would like to buy a person, Pat. That's fucking scary. A loud buzzing was heard. It was so loud, I was surprised I could hear it. Not just talks. <laughs> I felt a slight ringing in my ears and a little anxiety, but I calmed down and continued watching the tape. Oh, I'm sorry. Slavery ended years ago. Please spin again. <laughs> you saw that. Can I continue after that? I don't think I'd be in, I'd be in fits of laughter. <laughs> that was me. Pastor Jack was sorry that slavery ended. Oh man, how did the tabloids miss this one? <laughs> what was even worse was that the audience was laughing as if it was some kind of hilarious joke. This wasn't funny at all. I beg to differ. An incredibly sexy woman named Judy was next to spin the well. Wheel even. She had ruby red lips. I like how he was like, he was like super offended at this joke about slavery, but then straight away, He's like, sexy lady, sexy lady, just like immediately gone. He's like, oh, I, I, I'm upset. Oh, there's my erection. <laughs> oh, I can see my penis. Soft blue gray lips, uh, uh, soft blue gray eyes, and blue long gray lips probably means she's dead. Yeah, <laughs> and long flowing brown hair. Since she was incredibly sexy, I was hoping she'd be the one to win. Sadly, the wheel's pin landed on bankrupt. I felt sorry for the financial situation she would inev inevitably suffer through. Well, you know what that means. You're morally bankrupt. Mr. Sajak howled. That wasn't how the show was supposed to work. At this point, my anxiety disorder was really kicking into a higher gear. What? I could feel sweat pour down my brow. That, that's just the meat sweats. You fat fuck. <laughs> You're still sweating from doing that four mile jog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my arm started to tingle at it. <laughs> it tastes copper. And my eyes getting bigger and bigger, like Rebecca's. Whatever that means. There was no way I could have predicted what happened next. They never can. They never can. Suddenly, Judy's fancy dress was gone. He loved that. As if it was edited out with Sony Vegas. That is so specific. What the fuck is Sony Vegas? It's, I mean, it was, certainly couldn't have been edited out in Adobe After Effects. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it was Premiere. Premier. No. no, Sony Vegas. Or, or Windows Movie Maker. Software. I can edit out clothing in real time. <laughs> because someone pulled it with a string or a fish hook above the set, which is probably on Final Cut Pro. <laughs> but there was no string or fish, to, <laughs> fish hook that I could see. It, it, it disappeared suddenly and then froze because it was done in Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. Unless you were doing a magic trick. You could see her breasts uncovered. She wasn't wearing a bra. And her face was... <laughs> Yeah, he was having a wank. Her face was covered in cocaine powder. How did he know? She didn't look that surprised. Oh, Christ. Oh, dear. She didn't look surprised at all. She was acting like... Uh, ugh. She was acting kind of like a tease, actually. I could feel an erection bulge in my pants. <laughs> Fuck that. Other stuff. I was loving that tape. That means morally bankrupt. I stopped loving this tape. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off, man. I decided to pause it and then we have to skip over the next Just, bit. I love this tape. Two seconds later, contradict yourself. A man who looked like Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka came out and grabbed Judy. I don't want to hear about your fucking Willy Wonka again. <laughs> Hands right underneath her breast area. And then they stopped and stared onward awkwardly as if someone caught them in the act. I was beginning to think that there was something wrong about this guy. Who came in? Who came out? But I couldn't place my finger on it. And then there was what happened after that, which dot dot dot. This is the worst part. Killed my erection and my mood, and maybe want to call the police. Please <laughs> stop this crime! It's happening right now. As I'm watching this tape. This, what's the crime, sir? This videotape killed my goddamn erection. Murder. Murdered that, that my erection. Little fucking crime scene that. around his junk. <laughs> Police lying across his balls. <laughs> Little chalk out. 
instead of the usual puzzle solution board, whatever you'd call it, uh, there was a giant Illuminati eye sigil. And Patsajact looked really, really serious. Could this uh, tape be the work, work of, of the, the Illuminati? Illuminati. <laughs> and not like he sounded like Patsajack at all through the, throughout this episode. It sounds like you're saying Pastor Jack. <laughs> Pastor Jack! That is what his name is now. But now his voice was a lot more sinister. Like you might expect a throaty demons to be like. You f Do you want to do the throaty demon voice? Where are we? You thought that we were retarded. That, that's a demon's voice. You tried to lock us away in special schools, took down our websites, made fun of us on cable television, but we're never going away, and you can't deter us. We've got the power now. We've got the people. We uh, know how to make you pay attention. We know how to make you pay. It starts with TV, your favourite characters, but it ends in reality. 9-11, the JFK assassination, the swine flu outbreak, bestiality. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, go think on. about it. Th think about it. Put it all together. And then you will see. What will I see, though? What does it mean? I honestly couldn't give two shit. <laughs> With that, the Illuminati I sigil grew bigger and bigger. I would love to say that I ripped out the VHS and the VHS player then set them both on fire, but I can't. I stared deeper and deeper into the ever-growing eye. My mind's eye was hypnotized, and everything started to make sense in ways that I haven't since I was a little boy. The truth that when you're a kid, you look up to adults to try and grow and learn because they're bigger and they have more control and then you have to rely on them. You end up being the one to ask them questions and they're the ones who, you know, teach you. But what do they really know? Experience, what isn't actually, well, experience isn't actually what makes us. It is, it's following the path of truth. As we get older, the path becomes more and more distorted until we can't figure out which way we even came in, let alone where to head out. I'm sorry, can I just say this one thing? How the fuck is he getting all this from fucking some shit about the Wheel of Fortune? It's just, I don't know, I think he's just having a mental breakdown. What I can tell you is what happened to my head. I'm in a white padded cell. Ah, he is mental. Wearing some sort of complex shirt that ties my arms together. I'm told that I'm good and I agree that there is no tape, no school, no jobs, no kitty vomit, that I'll be given a free ride home. But well, where is home? I don't remember anymore. I feel right at home more than I ever, ever had before. Won't you be my dot 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 neighbor? The end! <coughs> Silence! That was poor! Right. What did that even mean? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be on... I think this was a troll, troll pastor. Yeah, um, I think I think it was too. Um, it's still funny. It's, the, it's just so. Do you feel, Matt, then that this was a successful troll pastor? Possibly, because <laughs> I mean, like, I think the problem is it started out funny, but it's sort yeah, of uh, the it's bit sort of out, where it's trying to it's sort uh, of outstayed its welcome, and I got really bored with it. Yeah, it's trying to be serious. What yeah, at the end, the sit like the bit where it's sort of trying to be serious. If it just done something really ridiculous, it kind of sounds like, like the whole thing's about like oh a, a vomit. And if it's supposed to be oh, the entire thing's supposed to be serious, it's terrible. But it's like oh I went home and then had some like pizza and just yeah. It's so tonally confused because you're right. If it's supposed to be scary, then it fails. And if it's supposed to be funny, it only succeeds occasionally at the beginning. Yeah, and mostly yeah, at the about beginning. half the time. I would say even less than that. I mean the half of the, like yeah. You could probably just strip away everything about the janitor and just have the tape and even that would still be shit. Yeah. Because, yeah. Thanks for watching, Governor. If you enjoyed this here video, then why not click on my face to subscribe? You can also subscribe to me other channel, where I do serious pastors. Why not follow me on Twitter, at Movie Sherwood, or follow Toby on Twitter, at Silent Rocker. If you'd like to tell us what pasta to do next, or just want to leave a bit of the old feedback for us, then use the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.